search and see. This okay. is today we're going to be talking about um, who eats whom, looking at the Nakai contain yourself, looking at um, the food web and um, how, how the energy is transferred through a food web. That is one of our major goals. For today, you are going to be given a couple of things, homework tonight, and this uh, for class today is going to actually take you today and tomorrow's class to do. So you'll just get started on what you're doing on today. But you are going to be given a set of instructions that look like this. I'm going to be passing these instructions out to you because it is an activity that you're going to be doing um, and kind of a learning activity for yourself. So Tim, you can pass these out for me. Thank you. You're also going to be getting, just have to pull this up here. You're going to be getting two other papers. One has, um, one has organisms and por portions of the ecosystem already on it, wonderfully drawn, um, not by me, but I could draw them if I wanted to because I'm just an excellent, awesome, fantastic drawer, right? Can I get an amen? Church is quiet. What'd you say? Only joy, right? Because she knows. She knows what's up. And then you're also going to get a rubric. When you get your rubric, where's my? I want you to put the actual title of um, the lesson, which is Who Eats Whom, and then you're also going to put your name on it. I just need to pull it up really quickly. I'm sorry that I didn't have it. Thank you. Deisha, can you come pass something else out for me? Now, um, you got to give everybody the first, like, one, two, one, two. What's wrong, Captain? Why are you laughing? Stop messing with joy, Captain. Okay, so you're going to get a sheet that looks like this. See these wonderful drawings? And you're going to be doing, uh, following the instructions. This is called the Who Eats Whom um, cutout sheet. That's one of the things that you're going to be having there. And the second thing, or the third um, thing you're going to get is, that Deisha's passing out to you right now, is your rubric. Because you're going to turn in the rubric, and everything's going to be done on the back of your rubric. You're going to be writing, drawing arrows, um, and then coloring and all that stuff, taping down or gluing down on the back of the rubric. So right now, as soon as you get your rubric, if across the top you could put the actual title, Who Eats Whom, when you get your rubric. And then uh, you could put your name, Pone Su Nombre, somewhere on the top there neatly so that I can read it. And then before we get started with me releasing you to do what you need to do, I need to explain one other, one other thing to you. So I'll wait for it. Thank you. All right, if you look at your procedure sheet really quickly, you're going to follow all of these procedures. You're going to come across primary, secondary, tertiary. That is something that you're going to be researching um, a little bit, and we're going to be talking about that on tomorrow to give you more information. But today, for the most part, you're just really going to get started. Um, I want to just set up your rubric really quickly for where you're going to be putting everything so that when you get to that point, I don't have to stop you. So if you look at... Your number five on your um, procedure sheet. This procedure sheet you can keep so that you have it with you. Number five says arrange the organisms onto the back of your rubric. Leave about a fourth of a space at the bottom of the paper. That's because you're going to be writing some things. So if you would just take your, your rubric right now and just fold it up about a fourth way up or a third of the way up. Just need a, a if you write really big, then you're going to have to kind of write smaller. You may have to add a separate sheet of paper. So if you were like folding this into three, so if you folded it like, like if you're making a brochure, you don't need to really fold it into three, but a third of the way up so that you have this much space down here. And then this space that you have here at the top is where you're going to be gluing all of your organisms and doing your food web with your energy arrows and all of that. This space down here is where you're actually going to be doing number seven when you get there, which again, you won't get there today. But I just wanted you to have your paper set up so that I don't have to stop you. Are there any questions on that? So for today, you are working through your procedure, starting out with number uh, one, and then two, and then um, 
most likely after that class will be over and you won't be able to move forward and then tomorrow we'll do some talking and then you'll be able to finish it. Preguntas, questions? Okay, then color pencils are there for you, sharpener. You guys can go ahead and get to work.